I think the church, um, as we engage with the LGBT community, we have to first and foremost not see them as our enemies. They are not our opponents. Um, if we are saturated with the message of the gospel, no person really should ever be our opponent. I mean, Jesus himself says, love your enemies. I, I, there's no way around that from, I mean, as much as it may seem at times, uh, how even media might portray how the LGBT community, even though that might not always be true, but uh, the LGBT community might be uh, in opposition to the church or the message of Jesus Christ. We just always need to remember that these are people. These are people that were very much like I was. These are people that need to know Jesus Christ. These are, these are people who are now blinded, and they need to hear the life-giving news of the gospel. So I think as a church, first and foremost, uh, these are people. These uh, people that are created in God's image. And um, so I think having that, that paradigm shift, even in the midst of what's going on in government and public policy and Supreme Court, I think when I watch the news, uh, when I read the newspaper, I, I, almost every sentence or paragraph, I have to remind myself, Jesus came to seek and save the lost. So Supreme Court decision, whatever we see, Jesus came to seek and save the lost. Another state embraces uh, marriage equality or gay marriage, Jesus came and seek to save the lost. That always has to be central in everything that we do, in every response, as, as visceral or as emotional as that might seem, we need to remember that. So I think that's important for the church to remember that. And, um, and yet also recognize that there's a lot of animosity and, and, and sometimes perceived hurt, or re, uh, real or perceived hurt from the LGBT community, and that we have to uh, break down some of those walls, walls uh, by simply building relationships. We have lost so much trust from the LGBT community because of maybe lazy words and comments that we might have said that might have unintentionally hurt uh, that we need to break those paradigms that uh, we don't hate uh, the LGBT community and that uh, we do want what is best for people and that we do love our friends and loved ones in the gay community.